Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Faisal Ali. I'm a retired software engineer from California. Alhamdulillah, about uh, 18 months ago, I had the good fortune to take my with Sidi Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Mohammed Fawzi Al Karkari from Nador in Morocco. And Alhamdulillah, about a few days ago, I acquired some of the fruits of that bayah that I took. Sidi Sheikh took me into Hulwa, into seclusion, spiritual seclusion, which means that you stay about three days three nights in a secluded room, in a dark room, and you fast during that period. And during that whole process, you are in constant dhikr. And the purpose of this whole process is to experience physically, not by sleeping or dreaming or being in a trance, but witnessing the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In, 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 in that state with your eyes closed or with your eyes open subhanallah and uh, it started like from after isha and you make the dhikr the asma of allah straight right through the night to fajr and then the next day you start from after fajr to uh, isha and so the process con uh, continues for those three days and intermittently the shaykh would come to you and ask you of your experiences how you saw the perceive and saw the light subhanahu wa ta'ala it's this in of of thousands of 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 rings of light that you see first coming you know emanating from the source and going back to that source subhanahu wa ta'ala and during the last sort of phase of this experience you go into these rings it is like portals that takes you from one sama to another sama until you reads the source of that particular light. Allah says, Allahu nuru samawati wal ard, where you perceive how that nur of Allah permeates through the whole of creation, through the sab'ah, samawat, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So numerous people have gone through this particular experience and the experiences of how they see the light coming out, lighting up the whole room where you are. And this was different manifestations of it. But the ultimate reality and ultimate process of every anyone that has gone through this process is basically the same. <coughs> so not to make it sound too, you know, mystical, if one can make sort of just practical analogies of, of, of similarities that one can sort of grasp and understand. Uh, I'll use two basic examples, for instance. If you look at a tree, <coughs> how water is diffused and permeates throughout the tree, you know, through all the branches, through all, all the leaves, even to the minutest mon molecular level, you know, in the cells of those, that water. Now, picture there's a switch <coughs> that you switch on, and all that water is in instantaneously removed from it. What will happen to what was formerly perceived as a tree? it will totally crumble and become dust and powder. So we see f just from that example that this tree was totally dependent on the water. But however, this water is independent of the tree or any parts of the tree as such. And similarly, through this process of, of the khulwa, through this what you see, this effulgence of light that you see, and how Basically, the Sab'a Samawat and everything contained in there was created from this Nur of Allah. But it cuts through that as such where it separates the Khalik from the Makhluk, the Created from the Creator, Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And this, I emphasize, is not a dream. It's not in a trance that you are. You physically perceive this. <coughs> if you want to look at another example, for instance, look at a city that is connected to a power grid. Think of all the appliances in that particular city, from your household appliances used in factories, used in hospitals, wherever you can think of. Now, think when a switch is flipped and the power cut, a power is cut. <coughs> from that particular city 
everything that was formerly functional is now dead, reduced to nothing. Similarly, one can make this particular analogy of the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permeated, permeating throughout creation. Where Allah says also in the Quran, Aynama tuwallu fathama wajhullah Wherever you look, you see the face of Allah. So ultimately, wal awwalu wal akhir. There was only Allah, the ultimate reality. And at the end, there will only be Allah, the ultimate reality. All else is a mirage <coughs> of unreality. And this, alhamdulillah, you perceive during this whole hulwa. Now, one of the fruits that I benefited from coming out of this hulwa, for about 15 years, I have been an ardent enthusiast of uh, cosmology how scientists perceived and the hypotheses that they have about creation what happened at the initial phases stages the uh, nucleosynthesis how stars were born created the galaxies and how inevitably everything will collapse or all the hypotheses are for instance everything will either reach a steady steady state where there's no expansion, no contraction, or it will just expand forever and forever and forever, or it will reach a limiting point where it will crunch and you would have the reverse of the Big Bang. But subhanAllah, during this experience and what I saw, it renders all these books that I've acquired over these years, all these notes, all these readings, and the enthusiasm that I had for this, it rendered it null and void because ultimately the rule of Allah can be by a flip of a switch you know in, in our normal terms we switch off by just saying kun and fire kun and everything becomes totally non-existent totally dark so subhanallah this is just one of the realities that all our <coughs> sometimes endeavors scientific endeavors if you just look at the Quran and what it says and really deeply ponder and with the benefit of such an experience of hulwa subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah says also in the Quran and surah amma wa tasalun wa futihati samao fa kanat abu waba and subhanallah you do see these portals connecting one sama one universe to the other this is you really see it with you heart's eye subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is like a, a, one of the realities that you perceive through through this so alhamdulillah i hope the the uh, words that are spoken here is of some benefit and uh, inshallah and it will sort of draw us towards nearer towards allah so in essence in conclusion this whole experience to me is about tawheed that ultimately there is only allah and all else is dependent on him and all else will as Allah says uh, towards the end of, of, of uh, everything will perish illa wajha it's only his face subhanahu wa ta'ala